came to pass on the third day that Esther put on her royal apparel and stood in the inner court of the king's house over against the king's house and the king sat upon his royal throne in the royal house over against the gate of the house. And it was so when the king saw Esther, the queen, standing in the court that she obtained favor in his sight and the king held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hand. So Esther drew near and touched the top of the scepter. うちには you laid this a message on my heart today. I believe someone needs to hear this. I pray that it will be a blessing. And you continue to strengthen and change us by your word. That's our humble prayer. Amen. You're still not uh, going back to third text of the series. And, uh, uh, this is topic on my heart today. I want to title it, The Queen of Persia. Queen of Persia, at the time of King Asuerus. 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 In English, it was Circes. In history. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Now, uh, in the message, I will restore. I want to in other words, if I've never seen a human being for myself and I've seen my shadow, I have some conception to know what I would look like by my shadow. Therefore, reading the Old Testament is a shadow of the new. And all those things were shadows and types of this day that we're living in now. Amen. So, basically, the Old Testament is like a shadow. Amen. When you see a shadow, Especially if you know the where is the light is, where the light is. You will know the shape of the, the thing. Amen. Because it may not it may not look totally the same. But somehow you will, will have the idea, conception, what is the real thing? Amen. Praise God. For this. Amen. For this. Amen. Praise God. By the shadow, you will know the shape. Amen. Amen. Praise God. But all comes by revelation from God. Amen. Amen. Revelation only comes from God. Amen. One time, uh, Jesus said to Peter, Blessed are you because uh, it is not revealed by flesh and blood, by my, my Father which is in heaven. Amen. Amen. So, it's not, you know, it's not in intellectual analysis. Amen. But it is by revelation. Amen. 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 Praise God. You know, many people now gearing towards studying Hebrew. 
Amen. See, this is the original Bible, Hebrew. We need to learn this much, the meaning, all the meaning of it. Amen. But you know, all the priests in Jesus' time are studying all the scriptures in Hebrew. But still, they miss the Messiah. <laughs> In this study Hebrew from their childhood until they are old, they're studying Hebrew Bible. Yes. But they still miss the correct revelation. Yes. 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 Because it's not intellectual. <laughs> It's not intellect, but it's, it's revealed by God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sure. Esther chapter 1, verse 10 to 12. Amen. Uh, on the seventh day, when the heart of the king was merry with wine, he commanded Mehuman, Vista, Harbona, Vita, and Albata, Zetar, and Carcass, the seven chamber lanes that served in the presence of Asaius the king to bring Vashti the queen before the king with the crown royal to show the people and the princess her beauty for she was fair to look on. But the queen Vashti refused to come at the king's commandment by his chamber lanes. Therefore was the king very wroth and his anger burned in him. なるかみに、足原僧は先の種に心が楽しくなり、王の前に帰る信用の自由、え、自由、メモマン、ビブタ、カルボナ、ビブタ、なんかだく、あ、アバナルビブタ、出たご用に、カルカスに、メンテ、
respect to the king. Amen. Imagine the king calling you and you don't want to come. Hallelujah. So, because of that, you know, uh, that's why the Bible said, harden not your heart. Uh, I, Amen. When God calling you, harden not your heart. Amen. 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 So the message of the king was sent through the chamberlains. Amen. Amen. On the seventh day. Mm. On the seventh day, God wants to call a bride. Amen. He wants to show the people this is my bride. Just like in the seventh church age that we are living in. Amen. God also wants to call a bride out of different organization, different denomination. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. So, to those who are new, God has a bride. And God is like a, Jesus is like our bridegroom. Amen. Just to make it more uh, simpler for the newcomers. Religion don't save us. We always hear that it's a relation with Jesus Christ. Amen. And what is the what is the deepest type of relationship that we can have? That, that is the relationship between husband and wife. Relationship between groom and bride. Amen. Amen. Because that is just like there is there, there is a union. Amen. Husband and wife, you have physical union, but spiritually we have we have spiritual union with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And he become the head of the body, the head of the church. Amen. Amen. That's why the, the, the husband is the head of the family. Amen. 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 Praise God. As we continue on in, in verse 5, uh, chapter 2, verse 5 to 8. Amen. So in other words, uh, King uh, Queen Vashti was replaced. Mm. Amen. Her, her queenship was taken away from her because he turned down the call of the king. So there, are, there is two things that you should not do if you are uh, uh, against the king. The most important thing. Amen. Don't ever turn down her his call. Or don't go to him when you are not called. <laughs> That's two things. Amen. Imagine he, he is having a peaceful uh, uh, devotion in his palace, in his room. And suddenly you, you come in. Amen. So that's one thing you don't want to do. If you are not, you're not being called. Praise God. Now, I want to introduce two other uh, characters here. Mordecai and Esther. Mordecai. Uh, chapter 2, verse 5 to 8. Now, in, in Shushan, the place, there was a certain Jew whose name was Mordecai, the son of Jair, the son of Shimei, the son of Kish, a Benjamite, who had been carried away from Jerusalem with the captivity which had been carried away with Jeconiah, king of Judah, whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had carried away. And he brought up Hadassah, that is Esther, Amen. his uncle's daughter, Amen. for she had neither father nor mother, and the maid was fair and beautiful, whom Mordecai, when her father and mother were dead, took for his own daughter. 
So it came to pass when the king's commandment and his decree was heard, and when many maidens were gathered together unto Shushan, the palace, to the custody of Haggai, the es that Esther was brought also unto the king's house, to the custody of Haggai, keeper of the women. さて、Amen. Praise God. So, hallelujah. Uh, at this time, some Hebrew were being captive into Babylon. That's why, uh, uh, in the time of King Nebuchadnezzar, after King Nebuchadnezzar, then comes the Persian kingdom. So the Hebrew were still there, including Mordecai and Esther. And because there was no queen now, Amen. the king made the decree that he is looking for a bride. Amen. Amen. So he, he made an announcement. And so that many people that are fair, it's just like an audition. <laughs> so many women come and whoever uh, the king will choose will be the next queen. Amen. 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 And God is also looking for a bride at this time. Amen. In the Bible, women are types the church. Amen. So, in other words, there are many churches now applying to be the bride of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, there is a song uh, by Steve Kuban. Steve Kuban song. He's a Christian singer. Amen. He has a song. The lyrics is, I long to be the bride that you're returning for. Mm. I don't know if you heard that song. I long to be the bride. I want to be the bride that you're returning for. Amen. But you know, in, in, back in the Philippines, we changed the lyrics. Amen. Instead of, I long to be the bride, I change it to be, I know I am the bride. Amen. Hallelujah. the Lord. Amen. So, uh, Esther means star. He is the queen of Persia. That's our title. Amen. Praise God. And uh, he, he replaced Vashti. Amen. Just like us, we are, uh, Esther lives in a place that is not his real, her real home. He, he, she was just a pilgrim and stranger there. Amen. But she was chosen to be the queen. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And so, uh, let's continue in the story. Amen. In verse 11 and 12 of chapter 2, and Mordecai walked every day before the court of the woman's house to know how Esther did and what should become of her. Now when every maid's turn was come to go into the king of Cyrus after that she had been 12 months, 
according to the manner of the woman, for so were the days of their purification accomplished to wit, six months with oil of myrrh, six months with sweet odors, and with other things for the purifying of the woman. アメン。これで会話ですね、のよ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、よ、
which is the month of Tebet in the seventh year of his reign. そして、モルデカイの
the Chamberlain told her. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We go to verse 17. And the king loved Hester above all the women, and she obtained grace and favor in the in his sight more than all the virgins, so that he set the royal crown upon her head. It made her queen instead of Vashti. Amen. 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 Out of all the women. Spirit was speaking out of all the churches. Amen. Many churches, big churches, rich churches. Amen. But God has a predestinated bride. Amen. 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 God has a chosen bride. Amen. Amen. And that bride will obtain grace and favor in His sight. Amen. Let's read this one. In the marriage of the Lamb. Esther was to became, become a bride, so she didn't want none of the adorning of the world. She wanted to go into the king just like she was. She adorned herself like the Pentecostal woman of two with a meek, humble spirit. Let them adorn themselves with that kind of spirit. Not only the women, but the men too. Adorn themselves with that kind of spirit. Then you're becoming ready for the bride. Amen. Sweet Reverend. Esther made her heart clean. Amen. Amen. That's how we prepare. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Now there's another character here, Haman. Uh, the the covetous Haman. Covetous. 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 Worldly. Was to get. Get glory. In Tagalog, Gahaman. So. There is a certain people scattered abroad and dispersed among the people in all the province of the kingdom, and their laws are diverse from all the people, neither keep they the king's law, therefore it is not for the king's profit to suffer them. Amen. So, the background of the story here, Haman seems to be like uh, the, the second to the king. And one time she was riding the horse, he was riding the horse. Amen. Then all the people should bow to him. But Mordecai, the cousin of Esther, 
Angko. Cousin. But he, he stood like a father to him. But his cousin, in blood related, his cousin. In Japanese, there's Angko. Ito po ni Mordecai don't want to buy, bow down to Haman. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's why Haman became angry. And so he wants to kill Mordecai. Amen. And all his people. That's why he talked to the king. Uh, king, let's make another law. Let's kill these people. Yeah, these are not, uh, these people have different laws. Amen. Praise God. He don't, they don't, uh, they will just be a problem to you, okay? Amen. And the king of Zerus uh, give his uh, signal, his ring to uh, signify the law. Amen. That's why now the children of Israel is in danger. They will die. They will be killed. Amen. Praise God. That's why Mordecai really uh, uh, put on ashes and he really mourned. Amen. And it, it was made known to Esther. Amen. If Esther will not do something, her people will be killed. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Mordecai will be, and even she, she is bounded by the law and she can be killed. Because she, she was a Hebrew. Amen. Praise God. So she took courage. She took courage. I told you before that two things you should not do. When the king is calling you, come. Amen. Do not reject the calling of the king. Amen. Many people are neglecting the call of God in their lives. Amen. Amen. Now, God is knocking in their heart. Amen. Just like in the book of Revelation, God is knocking at the door. But they don't want to open up. Amen. Praise God. And the other thing is... As don't go to the king's chamber when you are not being called. Amen. But Esther took courage. Because she has no hope, and no other hope now. Amen. It's either she die or her people will die. Amen. So for her people, for her family, he, she took courage. Amen. In, in Esther chapter 5 verse 1. Now it came to pass on the third day that Esther put on her royal apparel and stood in the inner court of the king's house. Over against the king's house, and the king sat upon his royal throne in the royal house, over against the gate of the house. Amen. Just imagine. I want you to imagine it, uh, the, the scenario in your mind. Amen. That Esther went into the king's court. She wore the garment of the queen. 
Amen. She, she, she prepared herself to meet the king. Amen. Hallelujah. In the, praise God. Uh, there are parables that in, in uh, I think it was in Mark of, about the, 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 the king as a son and as a marriage. Marriage uh, supper. Uh -huh. Amen. And then the people. Amen. The people, when they come there, one person don't have the wedding garment. Yeah. Amen. That wedding garment is the, the Holy Ghost. Amen. So when Esther went into the king, she has the queen's clothes. Amen. 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 But you see, he, she was at the mercy of the king. The king can either the king can either order his guard to, to kill Esther because Esther broke in the law. Amen. The thing that you do is prohibited. But, but in her heart, she is just doing it for her family. Yeah. Amen. For her people. Hallelujah. Verse 2. And it was so when the king saw Esther, the queen standing in the court, that she obtained favor in his sight, and the king held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hand. So Esther drew near and touched the top of the scepter. Hallelujah. Yeah. So if the king will not extend his his scepter, Esther will soon be died. Amen. But thank God that she obtained favor in his sight. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we do the best that we can to obey God. Amen. But sometimes you know you pay. Amen. Hallelujah. But thank God the king extends his favor. Amen. So that we can never boast. Right. At the end, it's still by grace. Right. Yes. Amen. Without God's grace, you will not see this message. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And so Esther touched the scepter. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When the mercy of God is being extended to us. Amen. I, I always read this. By grace we are saved through faith. God is giving you the free gift. But you must extend your hand to receive that by faith. Amen. Amen. You know, people say, I don't have to do anything. By grace. Amen. But you have to. You have to receive that through faith. Amen. Amen. When the king extends the scepter, you must reach that and touch that. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 3. Then said the king unto her, What wilt thou, Queen Esther? And what is thy request? It shall be even given to thee half of the kingdom. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's the that's the uh, the favor Esther found. 
Amen. She just realized who she is. Amen. Praise God. The message says, if you realize the church will realize who she is, she will be a strong army. Amen. And Esther realized, I am the queen. I can do something. Amen. Amen. And when, when God extends His grace to her, Amen. Because the message says, all that is in God, He poured into Christ. All that is in God, He poured into Christ. That's why Jesus Christ has the fullness of the Godhead. Amen. 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 And all that is in Christ, He poured into the bride. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. Amen. Praise God. And in verse 4, and that's when answered, if it seemed good unto the king, let the king and Haman come this day unto the banquet that I have prepared for him. Hallelujah. Amen. So, when uh, Esther came into the king's chamber, king's court, Amen. and then she invited the king to go into her <laughs> Amen. We are in Christ. And Christ in us. Amen. Amen. We enter into the holy, most holy place. And we ask Him to enter into our most holy place. Our Amen. heart. Amen. Hallelujah. And there will happen a great showdown. Amen. A great battle between uh, God and Satan. Amen. Amen. A showdown between the king and Haman. <laughs> Amen. Or God and Satan. Amen. Verse 6. Uh, chapter 7, verse 6. Amen. And when they are there in the, in the uh, queen's Place. And Esther said, The adversary and enemy is this wicked man. <laughs> wicked Haman. Then Haman was afraid before the king and the queen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. When it comes to the showdown, Amen. King, this is the problem. Amen. This Satan is wanting to take my life. To take my life. Amen. This Satan wants to do bad to me Amen. and to my people. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And because of that, when Satan is being exposed, Amen. He was afraid. Amen. 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 So, Amen. the queen is not afraid of Haman. Amen. Amen. Before, when, 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 when Esther didn't realize her position, she was afraid of Haman. And what he can do. Amen. But when she realized her position, Amen. Amen. Haman becomes afraid of her. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. In the message perfection, and he screams to his church, Take this which I have left you, my blood and my spirit, and fight with ever what you've got. Yes. Amen. 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 Amen.
In other words, through the blood of Jesus and through His Spirit. Amen. We can conquer tonight through that. You can drive the devil from you. Every old enemy that's in your life, it can be drove out by the blood and the spirit of Christ. And you can stand perfect in his presence. Christ made the way. Amen. Amen. The king made the way when he extended his scepter. Esther, verse 8 to the chapter 8 to 11. Wherein the king granted the Jews which were in every city to gather themselves together and to stand for their life, to destroy, to slay, and to cause to perish all the power of the people and province that would assault them, both little ones and women, and to take the spoil of them for a prey. てめえを保護し、自分たちを掃除する諸国、諸州の全ての武装をしたためにはその大地も、大地もろともにこの星、殺し、絶やし、またその、アザイを奪い、そのことを許した。アーメン。アーメン。Because あの、兵士たちは、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、
And we stand on the gift. Amen. 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 Praise God. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Praise God. This is our last quotation. And look where it is. It's not, it's not just for one or two in the church. It's for every one of us. Yeah. Every believer has a right to take this word and fight the enemy anywhere you meet him. Anywhere you meet the enemy, this word is what you have to use. And Jesus proved it when he came. So he equipped his children with the word for their protection against the enemy. Amen. それで、それをブッキングするためにカレーのことも出してあげたいと思います。ハレルヤ。アーメン。イエス。ジャストライトシーンアゲンダ。ダンホールスピリット。イン。イン。イン。イン。イン。イン。イン。イン。イン。イン
by faith we reach to that Lord. Yes, Lord. We are reaching to that Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, we are standing now realizing we are the bride of Christ. Yes, Lord. That we can claim your promises to us. Yes, Help us to stand on your word, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Knowing that this is, this is our weapon in this age, Lord. Lord, I ask that you uh, bless everyone of the congregation here. Amen. May not be material blessing, Lord. But a spiritual blessing, Lord Jesus. That's what we really need, Lord. Bless us, bless them, Lord God, with your with your peace. With your joy, Lord God. With your love, Lord Jesus. With the overcoming power, Lord. Yes, Lord. Even Lord, those our brothers and sisters that are not with us today. Lord, wherever they are, Lord, some of them may have sickness today. Lord, your hand is not short. You can reach them. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We are lifting them up to you, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are still the healer, Lord. Yes, Lord. You can touch them just right now, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Some may have some emotional problems, Lord. Touch them also, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let them let them feel your love. Is up here. We thank you once again, Lord Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name we pray.